under these trees so if I set my hook I can't really go up with it I'm gonna have to work it through here so you know just something you got to do sometimes when you uh, want to pull them out you got to get in the thick of it that's why I got this uh, jigging rod made by Jenko it's a Kevin Rogers signature series rod I got it because uh, ultra sensitive has a ton of backbone and uh, it's an 11 foot jigging rod guys I could reach out and touch somebody you know I've got the uh, spider wire 20 pound braid which is equivalent in diameter to a six pound test and uh, it's strong stuff it'll bend my hook you know before before I lose it so that's a good thing you know no stretch quick hook set get them out gonna get in there see if I can pull this one out what I'll do is uh I'll pull my line back so I don't get nothing snagged up and I'm gonna stick it way off into here so this is a lot of line control right here I think there's something in there I'm up in Davy Jones locker guys right down here Davy Jones locker holding all the crappie I got my uh, duck commander. This is a uh, got a different bait on there, so you know I'm up close. So I'm gonna uh, see if I can jig something out with this. I've just got a eighth ounce chartreuse jig head, it's just a ball head on there, and I've got like an Eclipse Bobby Garland bait. That's like a dark smoke blue with some black, you know, dark gray in it. It's a good bait, man. If you guys haven't seen it. Good color. Good stuff. Y'all see that? Good stuff right there. I'm going to see it. Maybe uh, it's the color. You know, sometimes it's the color. You know, sometimes you're on fish and, you know, it's all about just getting them to react. guys another good one right there see that guys that's it that's all it takes you're liking that chartreuse jig head right there What y'all think, guys? We tearing them up or what? <laughs> there we go. Pretty. Pretty crappie, man. They're in here. They're in here. We can get a few more and we'll move to another tree. Once I notice they ain't biting here anymore, we'll go ahead and move to another area. See if we can pull a few out of there. What you gotta do guys, like I said earlier, you get out here, hit one tree, get what you can, move to the next one. And uh, we're gonna move on over to these trees over here. We pulled five out of there, five or six, which is good, it ain't bad, man. I mean, that's all I caught all freaking day. I mean, who cares? 
five, six crappie, shit, that's dinner, guys. But I want to catch more, you know, because catching them's fun. And uh, since you guys wanted to fish today, this is where I'm fishing, beautiful Lake Luger. Looking for trees in the shallows, guys. It don't matter if it's in the shallows. I mean, it could be deeper water, but the trees, the trees are going to be holding fish, guys. That we do know. Nice bass, don't get away. Don't shake me. Got him. There we go, guys. Look at that. That's for you, John Ornelas. <laughs> That's for you. Nice two pound chunk. Man, that was nice. I thought it was a good crappie, guys, but look at them pretty red gills. Woo wee, look at that, guys. Two pound chunk. Holding that stump. They're down here, guys. They're down here. This one got eggs still. It's ready. It's still, still doing its thing. Get rid of that. That's for John because John's always like calling me a butcher. He's like, you're horsing them fish. So, hey, there was no horsing it on this ultralight, guys, at all. There was no horsing that sucker on that. Ooh, that was good. Man, that pumped me up. Wow, guys. It's turning out to be a pretty good day. Time to get Big Bertha out. Big sexy. See if we can do something with this baby. That one got me, guys. I missed him. Just because of kind of where I'm positioned, I can't really. I've almost got to bring him straight back, and I got this long rod, you know. Let's see if we can get him. I'm going to get him. awkward spot right now because I've got trees all around me and uh, kind of got to maneuver them out of here if I get one on just because it's 
I've got an 11 foot jigging rod and a lot of uh, brush around me and trees, so it's not like I could just boat flip them from where I'm at because I'm under a tree. But you gotta you gotta get in them nooks and crannies. That's where they're at. I mean, you know, where would you hide? Would you hide somewhere where somebody could easily get you, or would you get off deep into some stuff? That's what the fish do. They're gonna get deep in there and uh, get a little more protection. Uh, so the day's coming to an end. I'm gonna try one more spot, and I'm pretty much done for the day. But uh, unless I catch something spectacular, uh, I wanna go ahead and bid you guys farewell. <laughs> Till next time, guys. Uh, we caught some crappie. Hopefully you guys learned, you know what I mean, something about their habitat and, you know, like places they like to hide and whatnot. Uh, I've been trying to get on some walleye and some other things, but uh, I've had no luck. A lot of boats out today. Water isn't super choppy, but uh, it isn't the best either. Uh, we caught crappie. We caught crappie, guys. And I ain't got a lot of batteries with me, so... I'm gonna have to cut this one short. Thank you guys for watching. As always, you know what I mean? The pleasure was all y'all's. <laughs> just kidding, guys. <laughs> you know I always gotta come out uh, and say something silly. That's just me, you know? I love jokes, I like to laugh, and uh, all that good stuff, you know what I mean? The hell kind of fun is life if you can't laugh, you know what I mean? So, uh, thank you guys for watching.